Permanent jewelry is a trend that is here to stay. Whether it's a dainty chain around your neck or ankle or the perfect friendship bracelet, permanent jewelry is the perfect way to make sure you're ready for every occasion and to express yourself. Today, we are going to be going over the basics of permanent jewelry, including the tools that you will be using with customers interested in this trend, as well as tips and tricks on using the equipment to make sure your application is perfect every time. First, we will be looking at the tools you will be using in the permanent jewelry process. When putting permanent jewelry on a client in a store, you're going to be using an Orion Impulse Arc Welder. This unit has two pieces. There's a large base unit that has a screen on the front where you will be able to control the strength of the electrical pulse used by the second part of this unit, which is a probe, which can be removed. The probe has a tip, which will be used to actually weld the jewelry on, as well as a face shield to protect your eyes as well as the eyes of your customers during the application process. Attached to the base unit are some pliers with a grounding wire. During this process, you will also use a leather skin protection pad, cutters to trim the chain to length, a cleaning brush to clean the jump ring after welding, an additional set of pliers can be used to hold the chain, and finally, stainless steel practice chain to perfect your technique. In addition to the grounded pliers, several other attachments are also available to hold onto chain during the permanent jewelry process. All units plug into the base unit using the same plug. To begin, plug the power cable into your base unit. Next, plug in the welding probe. Next, you'll plug in your grounded pliers. Finally, the unit is ready to turn on. Simply flip the switch to the on position. Your base unit will make a noise when it has been turned on. Hit OK. Your base unit is now ready to use. To start welding, press the power button. The touchscreen can also be used to change the power of the welding strength. Different metals will require different welding power. Next, we will go over measuring the chain. Take a length of chain and put it around your client's wrist. Make sure you have a comfortable space between the wrist and the length of chain. You don't want these bracelets or necklaces to be too tight. Have your client move their wrist. Using the included cutters, cut the chain to length. Larger chains may use the cut link to attach the permanent bracelet or necklace. Be sure not to lose track of where your link is located. Now we will move on to the pulse arc welding process. First, adjust the probe so your eyes are protected by the safety shield and you're able to see clearly. For bracelets, have your client place their wrist underneath the probe and place the leather protection pad for their safety. If they choose to watch the welding process, have them wear the included safety glasses. Using the grounded pliers, pinch the chain near the desired welding point. You may need to use pliers or your fingers to get a better grip. Using either a jump ring or a cut link of chain to connect the ends of the bracelet, close the link so the ends touch. It is important to have both ends of the chain link or jump ring as close together as possible to ensure a clean weld point. Bring the open link close to the probe. Bring the weld point to touch the tip of the probe. You will hear a click and your safety shield will darken to protect your eyes. Pull the weld point away from the tip of the probe and ensure that the jump ring or link of chain has been soldered shut. Use the included cleaning brush to remove any soot or debris that may have formed during the welding process. The process of attaching a necklace is as easy as attaching a bracelet. Once your client's chain has been measured and cut, remove the probe from the holder. To protect your eyes, this time, you should be wearing the safety glasses. From the back, using one of the grounded clips, secure the chain around your client's neck. Use the pliers to close the necklace and then close the jump ring or cut link of chain to create a weld point. 
This time, you'll bring the probe to the welding point. Once again, use the cleaning brush to clean off any soot or debris. As you can see, permanent jewelry really is fast, easy, and the perfect way for your customers to express themselves.